Okay, now I'm continuing from where I left off yesterday. We were doing multiple lens and mirror type of problems. Uh, now I have uh, one lens here. This is a converging lens with a focal length of 20 centimeters. There's an object 30 centimeters away from it. And then there's a diverging lens here. Focal length is negative 40 centimeters. Okay. And then the distance between the two lenses is 25 centimeters. And to the right of the diverging lens, there's a concave mirror with a radius of curvature of 20 centimeters, right? So what I want to know now is where is the final image of this object? The, where is the location of the final image? And what is the total magnification of the final image? Is the final image diminished? Is it smaller than this or is it larger? Is it inverted? Is it upright? Is it virtual? Is it real? All of those questions, okay? So let's go again step by step. 1 over DO plus 1 over DI is equal to 1 over F. DO is 1 over 30 plus 1 over DI, which I don't know. 1 over the focal length is positive 20. So since this is a converging lens, I know the focal length is positive. So now I go 1 over DI is equal to 1 over 20 minus 1 over 30, right? And then I cross multiply again, 30 minus 20 over 20 times 30, which equals negative um, which equals 10 over 600, and uh, the zeros cancel, and then di is the reciprocal of this, so 60 over one, so that's just 60. 60 centimeters, okay? The secondary focal point of the converging lens, remember, is on this side, and the focal point is 20 centimeters, and we are outside of the focal point, so it's, the converging lens is going to form a real image on this side. The image distance will be 60 centimeters from this lens. So that puts us where? Well, 25, 30, so somewhere over here. But that image will never really form. It would have formed over there if the mirror wasn't there and the diverging lens wasn't there. Okay? So how are we going to treat this now? So think of the, about this image as if it's 60 centimeters this way. So that brings us, uh, this is 25 and 30, that's what, 55. So it's five centimeters here, right? So it would have formed an image somewhere here, right? This lens. That image which would have formed acts as if it's a virtual object. So it's a real image that would have formed there, right? It's a real image. But it never formed. So it acts as a virtual object. So it doesn't really exist. It acts as a virtual object for the diverging lens. Okay? So now when I apply my equation 1 over DO plus 1 over DI is 1 over F, I'm going to apply it to the diverging lens. Okay? Well, that's 30. 35, right? 35 centimeters that way. So what do I put here? 1 over 35. Is that what do I put? That would give you the wrong answer. What do you have to put? You have to put 1 over negative 35. Why? If you put 1 over 35, the equation will think that there's an object 35 centimeters to the left of the diverging lens. It's a real object. So it would be as if this thing, this uh, lens is not there, and this object is 35 centimeters from that lens. Okay? So in order for the equation to know that the, uh, the object is to the right, it's a virtual object, it doesn't exist, you have to put here negative 35. Okay? So then you go 1 over di, 1 over what? Well, the focal length of a diverging lens is negative, and it's 40 centimeters. Negative 1 over 40. So now you calculate 1 over di is equal to negative 1 over 40. This one goes to the other side, plus 1 over 35. And then you cross multiply again, negative 35 plus 40 over 35. 
times 40. And then you get 40 minus 35 is 5 over 35. 40. Well, actually, 5 goes into uh, both of them. You can say 5 goes into 35 7 times. And then 7 times 40, that's going to be 280, right? 280. 1 over di is 1 over 280. Now you uh, reciprocate them. di is equal to 280 centimeters. So what does that mean? Well, that means that virtual object over there for this diverging lens would have formed an image 280 centimeters to the right of the diverging lens. Okay, that's way, way over there, right? Um, <clears throat> and it would have been a real image, right? Because the image distance is positive. So it would have been 280 centimeters that way. Now we've got one more thing. We've got a mirror in the way, right? So again, how do we have to treat this? So by the way, let us along the way keep track of all our distances and all our image distances and all our um, object distances. My object distance one was 30. My image distance one was what? 60 centimeters, positive 60. My object distance two was what? VO2. That was the negative 35, right? What's my image distance to? 280 centimeters. So it's important to keep track of those later when we're gonna do the magnification of the image. So now, which is 280 centimeters to the right of this diverging lens. So that takes us all the way somewhere over here, right? 280 centimeters here. So let's say something like this. How many centimeters is that from the mirror? Well, if it's 280 this way, 280 centimeters, right? And then you got here 30 centimeters. So we subtract 280 minus 30, that's 250. So this is 250 centimeters this way, this way. 250 centimeters. Again, it's a virtual object, why? because it never truly forms. DO plus one over DI is equal to one over F. Now we have a mirror. The focal length of a mirror is equal to half its radius of curvature, right? Its radius of curvature is given as 20. Is it positive 20 or negative 20? It is positive 20, right? For a, a concave mirror, whose radius of curvature is on this side, its a center, its radius of curvature is in the real world, right? So this would be positive 20. If a, it was a convex mirror, it would be negative, right? It would be on the opposite side. So we divide this positive 20 over two, positive 10. So the focal length of the uh, mirror is positive 10. So what do I put here? One over DO. DO is gonna be negative 250. Why? It's virtual. It never really formed. Negative 250. Okay? And then plus 1 over di is equal to, and then 1 over 10. 1 over 10. Okay? 1 over di is equal to 1 over 10. This one goes to the other side. Positive 1 over 250. Again, you cross multiply. 250 plus 10 over 2500. Zero, zero. So that's going to be 260 over 2500. Zero, zero. One of the zeros cancels. And then invert them. Di is equal to 250 over 26. Let's calculate that. So let's write down what's my DO3. My DO3 was negative 250. My DI3, the third image distance, 9.62. 9.62 centimeters. Okay, so where is the final image? 
Well, it's a positive uh, answer. For a mirror, right? For a mirror, if the image distance is positive, it means it's on the, the left side, in the positive realm, okay? So what was the focal point of the mirror? 10 centimeters, right? So the focal point of the mirror was somewhere about here, F, 10 centimeters away. So the image is 9.62. So the image is somewhere over here, the final image. Now let's find out, is the image upright or is it inverted? It's down. So let's calculate the magnification of each image along the way. So the total magnification, negative D, <clears throat> negative D, I1 over DO1 times negative DI2 over DO2 times negative DI3 over DO3, right? Well, you have three negatives multiplied, so that's already gonna, two of them are gonna become positive. So the total magnification, DI1, 60 over DO1, 30. The I2, 280, over the O2, negative 35. Okay, you have to keep track of the, all of those positive negatives. And then you have an extra negative here, negative. The I3, that's 9.62, over the O3, negative 250. You see there? So a lot of negatives to keep track of. The O3 is negative 250. Negative 250. So what happens? The two negatives cancel, become positive. You have a single negative left over, so the image is negative. If, when the magnification is negative, it means it's inverted. Okay? So negative. Then we take the product of all of that. Well, this one is easy. It's going to give us two. So it's about 61% of its size, about 62% or so, right? It's inverted. So the image looks something like this. Okay? So if the original object was, let's say, 10 centimeters high, the image would be about 6 centimeters, and then it would be inverted. So let's draw something like this. It'd be like this, inverted. So the image is diminished, inverted, and it's a real image. So you could actually put a screen there and you can actually see that image, right? So it's a real image. Now, if you want to do uh, the ray diagrams of these, it's kind of trickier. You can kind of try, but what, what's gonna happen is you're gonna, the, this lens is gonna try to form an image, right? So it's gonna try to convert the rays, right? Then the rays are gonna come like this. And then what's going to happen? Well, this lens takes those uh, rays and tries to divert them outward, okay? Try to divert them outward. And as we found here, the image formed by this diverging lens is where? the 280 centimeters away. So as this converging lens tries to converge them here, it goes through the diverging lens and then this diverging lens tries to divert them and those rays come and they would have formed 280 centimeters over there, right? But instead, but instead what's going to happen as these rays are being diverged and hitting the mirror, they bounce back from the mirror, they bounce back from the mirror, and basically it forms an image here. So roughly the ray diagram would look something like this. And then we could draw more rays too. This one goes like this, then it goes like this, bounces back, goes through. We could keep uh, doing more rays like this, and it goes, bounces back, and so on. And all of the rays will meet up here, nine centimeters to the left of these um, concave mirror, okay? So now you can see complex multiple of um, 
mirrors and lens combinations, virtual images, keeping track of, uh, of all the negatives. And then we got the final answer, the magnification and the location of the image, okay? Thank you very much.